Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, everyone. This is Marcos, and today I'm going to be showing you something very special. So tonight I will be showing how to use just the free DVD boot disc DVD R and show you how to just use that and the external drive. So normally you'd be needing something like a memory card, right? Well, for this you don't. I'll show you exactly how it's done. After you have successfully burned the free DVD boot this according to your model which is also shown there let me show you right here you want to insert the disc in and then you go on to the file browser so you follow these uh, the tutorial, uh, the guide there, I mean, and you go on to mass, which is the USB port. If it will actually load, that is yep. Okay, and you go to your folder where you have where you have put the OPL itself, and yes, we will be using OPL for this. original OPL and there we go it's right there and as you can see there these are the games I have and to be able to save them I'll show you what to do so after you choose your game what you do is just and now you have to wait because I have to look at the screen on the phone screen as well as the CRT TV. So I think you have to go to options. Then you go to possibly game uh, settings. Nope. Okay, so I had a bit of a look and I found that what you need to do is go to options. So press triangle after you have chosen your game go to vmc and then do vmc slot one for example not set you click that or yep you click that and you choose your size so usually you wouldn't need more than eight megabytes so this is the code and you're going to see that on the external drive later on so once you make that and choose the size you do create X on that and create in VMC file which is a virtual memory card I think or something like that something along those lines so as you can see I'm not using the memory card I'm just using this and this is the result so when you press OK and when you do OK here as well and when you save changes game settings are saved go back to the games list or test changes I'm not sure what that is but games list and then you just run it like this and when it's fragmented you just defragment it with the computer and then you continue after the fragmentation screen, what you do is press back with the circle and then you turn on the PS2, pull out the external drive and put it in the computer. So for me, it would be right there. So once I do that, I'll be back. After you put it in your PC, you will see a notification right there. And if you saw if you saw the notifications, then it's going to work. So after you go to your computer, uh, external, and then you go on to VMC, and you just check that the file is there. These are the saves. So what you do? Why is the camera so zoomed in? Bloody hell! Uh, okay, you go on to your defragmenting program. I use. I use, oh, thank you for not focusing, Defragler. Uh, 
yes and then you go you wait for me it's called ps2 ext external you go onto the file list analyze you choose it if it got defragmented this is the correct file i mean if it got fragmented and you can see there are some fragments and this is why it wasn't working so you click on defrag checked and then it's going to take a couple of minutes after it's done you do analyze and as you can see no fragmented files so then you close this you have to eject the external drive the right way so you press the little thing here this is the USB and you eject and the reason why I want to do it this way is so that it doesn't break because if the computer is not aware about it and you take it off before that it's not exactly safe so let's continue I'll take off the thing and then put it in the PS2 that will be all I will do so as I have promised I have only put the external drive in and there that's it so turn on the TV Turn on this, and if I can find the controller which is here, AV button, turn on the console, come on, and I'll get back into OPL and continue from there. Okay, so after navigating to your game, and I hope that you will now know how to go to it because I've showed it before. So you just do the same thing, and then let's see what happens if we run it. Because we have de defragmented it, so now it should work. So I'm going to save the game and then get back to you and show you if it even works. Okay, and here we have the first message. So it, so it says... No altered beast data found in the memory card, 8 megabytes, so it's detected the, the memory card in slot 1. New altered game data will be saved on the memory card for PlayStation 2 in memory card slot 1, which is this. So yes, click any button, and it says altered beast requires 115 kilobytes of free space to save. Is this okay? And if you press yes. It's going to save, accessing the VMC or the memory card, it doesn't matter. Although for this, it does matter that we use the external drive. So yes, it's going to take a few seconds or minutes and as you can see, save successful. So that's everything I want to show you. You can continue playing the game like this and it will just save. And that's all I wanted to show you. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Alright, so one more thing that I have noticed I have not done is save and actually load in the actual game. Although I have uh, saved in the menu. I have not saved this way, so let's do that right now. So, load is successful, which means we can save it. So now as you can see, it's saving on the external drive, of course. And if we load it. It does take a little bit longer on the uh, external drive because it's not exactly the memory card which is faster. Load game. And the profile is going to show. Load successful. Load. We spent 10 minutes in it. And if we go to the story. It works and it works perfectly fine and that's everything one more thing yes I don't have the hard drive in and that's all